This week on Country Music Junkies, we have a new artist to introduce you to. She is a Montana native, and her name is Kayla Adams, and we have her on the phone. Thank you so much for joining us, Kayla. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Now, I want to start off with, you know, where you came from in terms of your start in the music industry, because I understand you moved down to Nashville, did a little bit of time in Nashville, then moved to Hollywood, which is crazy, and um, did some stuff there, moved back home, and then we're traveling around a bit. So take us kind of through how you got started in the industry and, and how you got to where you are now. Okay, I actually first got started um, touring with a youth outreach group out of Minneapolis. I did that for a year, and then, yes, my next focus was school, so I went to Belmont in Nashville for one semester, and I ended up transferring to another school in Los Angeles that was just more focused on music, like you didn't have to take English class or anything like that. <laughs> Understandable. So it was a better fit for me. For sure. <laughs> and um, so when I got done with that, I was kind of faced with this choice, like, well, do, do I go back to Nashville, you know, to start my music career there, or what should I do? And what I ultimately decided was that I was going to go back to my hometown in Montana. They actually have a really decent music scene, a lot of tourism. And I figured, you know, I'll get my start. I'll learn. I'll, you know, build my fan base and get my local people behind me. And I, that's what I did. I went back and I started touring around. Eventually, I started touring all the way down to Nashville. And I would stay for a couple of weeks, make some connections, go back. And um, ultimately, I ended up making the right connection that brought me here to Nashville for good. Amazing. Well, that that's great. So uh, you, you said you kind of started out with this youth singing group and everything. Um, did you always know that, that country music was where you wanted to be? Yeah, you know, I really did. Um, I went on that tour partially just as a discovery and learning experience for me, kind of as a test. You know, I didn't want to devote my whole life to country music and get there and realize, you know, I really don't like living out of a suitcase. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I thought, you know, I'll do this tour for a year. I'll get a taste of what it's like, and then I'll know for sure. Because I knew that I loved singing, but I'd never toured, so how can you know? For sure, yeah. Um, yeah, but, you know, it turned out that I was all about it, and I just couldn't wait to get back out on the road once I was done. Well, that is great, and it obviously has worked out quite well for you. Now, let's chat about your music um, and your sound. How would you describe your sound to people who haven't heard your music before? Um, I'm definitely a modern country sound, and I lean more toward the rock side, I think, than the pop side. Um, anything that's more beat for me really isn't that poppy sound. It's more of the rock. And, um, you know, I grew up on 90s country, so I think you can hear that in me, and I just sort of have my own twist on making it more modern. Great. That's a great description. Now let's chat about your music specifically. Your current single is Sober and Sorry. Can you tell us the story behind that? Yeah, um, that song was, it was born out of a relationship. I had dated this guy, and he just had this horrible habit of disappearing for the weekend and then calling me, you know, maybe Sunday or Monday and wanting to hang out and having all these excuses ready and apologizing. And so he was literally sober and sorry, uh, which is where I came <laughs> up with that. And then I had written some other pieces of the song, just as little thoughts, and I took it to my co-writers and we turned it into this sort of um, revenge song that it is. Cool. Well, that's that's an awesome story, and it's great that you can relate to it. How how important is songwriting to you as an artist? Um, well, songwriting has always kind of been a part of who I am. It's important to me, but it's not, like, of the utmost important that I write every song. Um, I'm the type of writer that I have to be inspired so I can't just write about anything random and make it good. It's got to be something that I feel. So either something I've been through or seen someone else go through. Right. Um, yeah, but I definitely am considering other people's songs for this upcoming project. You know, especially that moment when you hear a song and you're thinking to yourself, how does this person know me? You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's so, a um, feeling, I'm then. definitely open to that. 
Well, that's great. And now you you mentioned that uh, you do have an upcoming album that I know is in the works and uh, you don't have a firm release date for that. But what can fans expect to hear from that album in addition to Sober and Sorry? It's going to be a really personal album. And so far with the songs that we've picked, we have a a decent mix um, of, you know, the upbeat, more rock kind of songs and and some that are a little more mid-tempo or chill. And so far, everything that we have chosen for the record, I did write or co-write. Perfect. Um, And, you know, there probably will be a few on there that I didn't. But like I said, you know, um, my producer just sent me a song, I think, two days ago. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, I know none of my ex-boyfriends write songs, so who wrote this? Like, who talked to them and wrote this song about me? (laughs) That's awesome. Well, we look forward to hearing the upcoming album, and uh, we'll definitely stay tuned for more details on that. Now, if fans want to check out Kayla Adams, you can go to kaylaadamsmusic.com, but can they connect with you on social media as well? Yeah, and that's actually almost better right now, just because we're in the works of developing a new website. Oh, cool. Um, So... Definitely, you know, check out the website if you want, but um, it's a little bit we're working on the new one. So I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. My music video for Sober and Sorry just came out on YouTube. So, um, yeah, check that out. And if you just search Kayla Adams, you'll find me. Excellent. Well, Kayla, thank you so much for your time today. We really appreciate it. Good luck with the upcoming album, and we look forward to uh, its release, and maybe we can do a follow-up then. That would be awesome. Thank you so much.